Hi, everyone. Um, uh, my name is Layla. This is a cat. Hi. Hi. We created a for our hackathon project. We create a rainy day. And uh, last week, a lot of things happened. And uh, it wasn't a great week for many of us. And uh, me and many of my friends are going through, well, five stages of grief. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we feel real angry sometimes frustrated and sometimes in denial. So at that moment, um, Kat and I thought it wouldn't be nice if there's an app that when you're feeling really angry or frustrated, they can comfort you and kind of show you the life-affirming moment, kind of remind you why you get out of bed every day. So um, that's why we created a Raining Day. Mm -hmm. And um, the original goal was to let a user save all kinds of information on there, so memories or videos or um, links, anything at all um, that they could store in their piggy bank so that they could draw upon that um, when they were feeling upset. Um, that was obviously a lot of different things, so we just tried to implement two things. We wanted to save memories, things that people would write about themselves, and images. So um, when you get to the front page, um, oh yeah, so we used uh, Fire Firebase for the back end and uh, React and uh, Material UI for the front end. So it's a bit of a forced marriage between the <laughs> Google and Facebook, but um, so it turned out okay. So um, when you first get to the front page of Raining Day, the idea is that even when we will ask you, are you feeling like the happy rabbit or the sad rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you feel like very happy that day, we'll say, hey, we're glad you're feeling sunny today. Would you like to save for the raining day? Because right now you're feeling good, but you never know, next moment you might be feeling down. So uh, why don't you use this moment to save your good positive thoughts and good memories and just for save for the raining day? So, um, when we click on the icon, so it says save for the uh, raining day, so you click on it, and it will take, take you to the page to add new memory. Um, the biggest challenge for, um, for us in putting this together was using Firebase. It's a new technology for both of us. And I mean, it should be relatively easy in terms of drag and drop and save and you're done. Um, unfortunately, of course, it's never that easy. Um, and so we were using Firebase authentication to log in a user, um, which we managed to do pretty well, but it wouldn't persist across the rest of the site. So we have a lot of components um, still on rainy days that um, aren't, we can't display them because they require having a user. Um, so that was frustrating. We also used Firebase's database um, to store things, and they store things just in a regular JSON structure, so it's um, quite easy to access. And so we were able to get um, some of our memories from the database, but we were unable to render them. Um, so it was frustrating to know that, that it took us a lot of time to get to a place that should have been relatively simple had we used technologies that we already knew, but at the same time, um, really enjoyed using Google products and trying to um, trying to integrate them with what we already knew. Mm -hmm. So every time uh, you save a memory, the idea is that you will get a point <laughs> next to the piggy bank. <laughs> so you're saving for, uh, once your saving is getting to a certain point, and then you can view your memory and uh, make yourself happy again, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and a kitten.